And many Americans wonder if the Ottawa shooting could inspire similar violence right here in the U.S. Security officials say there's good reason to worry. Bob Orr is in Washington with the reasoning behind the alarm. Bob, good morning. Good morning. Well, indeed, the attack in Canada now is increasing concerns about potential copycats here in the U.S. Law enforcement officials tell us they're most worried about a homegrown violent extremist, what we call a lone wolf sometimes, who might decide that this just happens to be the right time to strike out in the name of ISIS or perhaps another terror group. Now, the threat from these self-radicalized Americans is not new, but in recent weeks, we've seen ISIS cranking up the propaganda campaign, urging attacks on U.S. and Western targets wherever and whenever possible. And now ISIS is on the record praising the Ottawa shooting as a good example of what followers can and should do. Sources say the FBI right now is watching a number of Americans, perhaps a few dozen or so, who have either tried to go to Syria or who have gone and have already come back home. Those who are showing a desire to join the jihad are under varying degrees of surveillance and investigation. Meanwhile, intelligence officials continue to go through the background of the Canadian gunman. They've looked at travel records. They show he's traveled to the U.S. at least four times between 2010 and 2013. But officials say there's no significance to those trips. Sources say also there's nothing in his background so far that connects him in any way to any threat against the U.S., and more importantly, nothing to indicate that he had any strong connections to a global terror network or a cell. Charlie? Bob, thanks.